Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneManna.com. In this video, I want to show you the most efficient way to promote ClickBank products on Google Ads, which means we will only be paying for the most targeted of all possible traffic. You will no longer be wasting money on irrelevant search terms that have nothing to do with what you're selling. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that so it's as efficient as possible. You're making the most bang for your buck, all right? And it's this approach that helped me generate, if you do the math, if you count all these numbers, uh, about $17,000 USD for the month of um, April so far. Now, obviously, not everything is profit. I spent about seven to $8,000 uh, on ad spend. So about $9,000 of pure profit for the month of April, which still isn't bad. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this as well to make your ad spend as efficient as possible with Google Ads. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so you get notified when I release more videos just like this to help you succeed online. All right. That being said, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we have to do is select a ClickBank product. So I'm going to close out of my account. And we're going to go to this dummy account here. We're going to go into Marketplace. Now, I already created a product and I already created a page for it, but we'll, I'll just quickly guide you. So let's say, you know, one of the more popular products is Ted and we're going to be using a Ted's page. So let's suppose you want to promote this Ted's product. Okay. Again, this can be any product, but um, we're going to use this as an example. So apply what I'm showing you here to any product you want. So you're going to take this and you're going to use the link by clicking on promote right? You're going to use this link. Now, the second step is you do have to create a landing page. So I'm using Unbalanced to create my landing pages. And let's suppose our page looks something like this. Uh, I do show you exactly how to make a landing page step by step in my other videos. I'll put a link in the description if you want to know exactly how to make a page that looks like this step by step completely from scratch. And if you do also decide you want to try and use Unbounce, if you use my affiliate link at go.evonmana.com slash Unbounce, I give you guys a free 14-day trial to test it out, see how you like it. And then I also give you an exclusive 20% off on your first three months or, or a year if you decide to go with that for Unbounce. So definitely an offer you cannot get just by going to Unbounce.com. So take advantage of it, follow the steps in my video and create a similar looking landing page. So that's the next step, okay? Now here's where we actually get to this uh, efficiency part. We're gonna head over to Google. Okay, so hopefully you already have a Google Ads account. If not, go to ads.google.com and sign up. And then we're going to quickly create a campaign here. And I'm going to show you this key thing that you do have to do to make your spend as efficient as possible. All right. So in your Google Ads account, you're going to click on plus. And now we're going to be promoting our landing page that we created for the product. And again, this can be any product. doesn't have to be Ted's. All right. Uh, you can click on website traffic. We're going to go with search and we're going to enter our URL here. I'm going to go ahead and click copy, paste this here. And now we're just going to fill in some blanks. I'm not going to spend too much time here explaining every single thing because I do have a course that covers this in very thorough detail at evonmana.com slash old dash courses, but we will do the most relevant stuff. So let's say Ted's woodworking and then in parentheses, we'll say efficient. All right, because this is going to be our very, very efficient campaign, only spending money on what we know is as targeted as possible. Uh, we're not going to select that. We're, we, we, you could go with Google search partners. That's okay. We're going to leave everything as is. Uh, when I first test offers, I always go with a tier one country. So that's United States, Canada, United K, Australia, and New Zealandia. Okay. So these five highest quality traffic generally, that's what they say it is. Uh, they call these the tier one countries. And that is what I found in my experience as well. We're going to leave this at English. This does not translate. So don't bother adding every single language ever thinking it's going to translate. It doesn't. But if you create the ads in a different language, like French, then obviously you would want to select French here, not English. Uh, audiences, we're going to leave as is. Now budget, you can set whatever budget you want to. The more you spend, the faster you get the data. All right. So don't put it at like $1 a day because then it's going to take you 100 days just to spend 100 bucks. So definitely not enough. Um, so the minimum I'd say is like 10, 15, maybe $20 a day is good. It's, it's a good starting point. Uh, so let's say $20. That's okay. Uh, for bidding, we are going to go here. Not recommended. We are going to go with manual CPC. So ideally you want to go with target CPA because then you'll be, um, 
you'll be paying basically per conversion. Now you're not going to be actually paying per conversion, but you're going to give Google a goal for how much each conversion is worth to you. And they're going to try to get you conversions uh, under that number. If you're just starting out, you have absolutely no data. You don't have conversion tracking set up, which by the way, I cover in another video. Again, take a look in the description on how to set up conversion tracking. Uh, the option I always start with is manual CPC just to get some traffic, just to get some clicks, you know, to get some data. Uh, we're also going to take this off because I don't want to overpay sometimes. I want to set a bid and then I want to stick to that bid. So we're going to go with that. We're going to leave all these extensions here and we're going to click save and continue. And now this is the part that uh, where you set this efficiency in action. Okay. So what you're going to do is go to tools and you're going to right click here and go to keyword planner. And we're going to use the keyword planner. Here's the kicker to get exact long tail keywords. Okay. Long tail keywords are keywords that are three words or more, and they're going to be very specific. So we are going to make sure that we're not going to be paying for any irrelevant search terms. And that's the key here. And I'm going to show you how to do it here. Um, so let's go into here. We're going to click on discover new keywords. I'm going to set a location to United States as well. And maybe even, you know, Australia, some of the countries that we set New Zealand, just so we get a more accurate uh, number of clicks and impressions and all that. We're going to click save and now we can type in keywords. Now our product is about woodworking projects, woodworking plans, right? So we want to target that. But what we don't want to do is use keywords like this, woodworking plans, woodworking, uh, master woodworker. They are too, too, too broad. Even if you make them exact like this, which is going to ensure that, oops, uh, this, these exact words have to be typed in. Even if you do that, it is not it's still not targeted enough. So we're going to make it targeted. We're going to select three words or more things like, you know, step-by-step -step woodworking projects. That's good. As long as we make it exact. So, um, assuming you don't have any, any values here, let me show you how to find these keywords, right? So you're going to go in here and you can type in keywords that are, that you think are relevant to what it, whatever it is you're selling. So in this case, maybe woodworking projects, we'll click enter, maybe wood working plans. And then that was a good keyword. Let's see step-by-step -step woodworking plans. Let's see what the demand is for this. Um, we're going to click on get results. And this is where we're going to get ideas and we're going to put them back into our, uh, back into our ad groups right here. Okay. So again, woodworking projects is way too broad. That's why you see such, such high search volume, but this keyword, for example, step-by-step -step woodworking plans is getting 50 monthly searches, you know, 50 searches a month. You might think that's not enough. It's not worth it. But that is perfect, guys. That means it is really, really, really targeted. People that are typing it in, you know, there's not a lot of people doing that. But step-by-step -step woodworking plans is pretty dang specific for people that are looking for specifically step-by-step -step woodworking plans. So what you want to do is, for example, copy this, come back here, paste it here, and then make this exact. Now, there are other ways of doing it. You can uh, you know, add any random keywords here, and then you can go in and, for example, select a keyword, and then you can add it to existing campaign. Obviously, you would select the right campaign, and then you would add it, okay? You can do it this way too, but I'm just going to show you the process here, how to actually do it, and this is one of the ways you can do it as well. So, step-by-step uh, -step woodworking plans is a long-tail keyword. Good, we add that. What you could also do is you could open a notepad and type in all these keywords that are long-tail, okay? So, uh, you know, DIY wood projects. This is pretty long tail. I mean, this is, you know, three words, uh, but it, it's got a really high search volume. I, I think we can make it more specific than that. This is still good though. So you can definitely use this if you want, but I'm going to try to see if I can find something more specific, maybe four words or more. So woodworking projects that sell, that could be good. We could try it out. Easy woodworking projects. Let's go down a little bit. Let's find something with maybe slightly a lower source one. So here, wood projects for beginners. That is pretty good, specifically targeting beginners. So what you can do is you can go in and copy it. You can paste it here and make it exact. All right. And now we'll be saving this keyword. We're going to be putting it back in. Now let's, let's keep going down. Intermediate woodworking projects. That could be good too. Simple outdoor wooden bench plans. Really, really, really specific. Okay. So this is really good. Five words and it's got a lot of search volume. So you can add it here. Now you probably don't want to add all these into the same exact ad group just because you 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 want to make different ads right like wood projects for beginners will probably have a different ad than simple outdoor wooden bench plans but you're just collecting ideas right now most profitable woodworking projects probably not woodworking projects that sell 
Maybe, yeah. Like, you can try this because TED does teach you how to actually sell these plant, these projects that you do as well. So that could be pretty good as well. So you can add this. Okay, and it is your job, guys, your responsibility to go down the list and find these long tailed keywords uh, and then make them exact, okay? And this is gonna ensure that you're targeting a very, very narrow, specific audience. Again, you're not gonna get a million clicks a day, a million impressions a day, you're not gonna get that. But that's the point, is you're not paying for all of these search terms that are irrelevant. You're only paying for something that you know is very, very, very targeted, all right? And that's the idea. So go down the list, all right? Find these keywords and add them here. For example, again, here, DIY wood projects for beginners. This is perfect. This is five words. We're gonna enter, put it here. Okay, so this is one way you can do it. Again, there's other ways you can do it. You can create the campaign first and then you can just click like this and you can add it to keyword. You can do it that way. But again, I'm just showing you the idea, okay? This is how you do it. And if you already have a campaign set up, then simply go into the keyword planner uh, and then use this, right? So you're gonna click here and then add to ad group and then you're gonna click add keywords to do that. Or you can just use a notepad even if you already have a campaign, either way is fine. So you're gonna come back here, let's set the bid to um, maybe let's say 75 cents. Now as a note, you will have to pay a bit more for the keywords. You can no longer pay like 10 cents per click because these are very targeted keywords, but they are more likely to get you results, to get you the sales, okay? So we're gonna be paying a little bit more and that's okay. And then let's see if we can separate these out into different ad groups. So for example, uh, wood projects for beginners, projects that sell DIY projects for beginners. So we can put this, I'm gonna cut that. We can put that into one ad group. So projects for beginners, that's gonna be our one ad group. Uh, plans, so this one here, we're gonna put into this one, I'm gonna cut. And you wanna make it, again, you also wanna do different ad groups, right? You don't wanna put everything into one because then your ads aren't gonna speak clearly to everyone because they're different keywords. And then small wood projects that sell, for example, or you could, uh... no, yeah, this is gonna be a different one. So we're gonna name this ad group. We're gonna say, this is gonna be, uh, let's say, woodworking plans, okay? Then we're gonna create another ad group here. We're gonna use this. We're gonna copy this or cut it, doesn't matter. I pressed cut, so control X to cut. And then here we can say 75 cents as well. And if this isn't too high of a bid or if it's too low of a bid, if this is if this is too high of a bid or too low of a bid, uh, you can just go in and change it after, okay? And then this one will make it wood projects for beginners. And then we're gonna create one other tag. Group. So you guys can see what we're doing here, right? We're making very, very, very specific targeted keywords. And it is your responsibility to go in there and find as many as possible. So keep looking. Uh, and then we'll say projects that sell, for example. Okay, so we have three ad groups now, very, very specific, long tail, exact. And we're gonna click on save and continue. And now what we're gonna do is just quickly create some ads for these different ones. So what I like to do is still use search ads. I, I don't like these responsive search ads. Let me know if you want a video on like how to use responsive search ads or how to switch to text ads, but I just find this so much easier. So uh, this ad group here is on projects that sell, right? So in our headline, maybe we wanna say woodworking projects that sell. So look, very specific, it's perfect 30 characters, and we're targeting specifically people that are typing this in, all right? So very efficient, we're not gonna be paying for any irrelevant uh, search terms. And then we can say, for example, get your free plans right now, okay? So a little call to action there. Headline three is optional, sometimes it doesn't show up. For the purpose of this example, we're just gonna leave it. Uh, description one, we could say something, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and paste it here and then cut off whatever is over the top. So get instant access to 40, you're not allowed to use all caps. Free woodworking, regardless of your skill level. Well, uh, regardless, get instant access to 40 woodworking, let's say, step-by-step uh, -step could be good, but that doesn't matter. See, step-by-step -step doesn't matter for these guys. They're looking for projects that sell, not for step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, you can start on today. Um, trying to think where else we can cut it. Access to 40 woodworking plans. You can start, let's say you can start now, that's better, um, regardless of your skill. Let's just say that. And there you go. Okay, so this is gonna be our ad for this very specific keyword. And we can leave description to blank, it doesn't matter. So now what we can do is let's go ahead and copy this to all the other ad groups, or we'll just start with this one. 
So we're going to paste it here. And then we're just going to make some changes to it. Okay. We have to make some changes. So we're going to paste it here. We're going to come in here. And now this ad group is on wood projects for beginners, DIY projects for beginners. So instead of saying wood projects that sell, we're going to say for beginners. And this is too big. So maybe we can say uh, wood projects for beginners, right? Play around with it. Think, think how you can make it. But I, ideally, you want to incorporate something from here. And actually, yeah, this does say wood project. So it is, it is totally fine to say wood. Wood projects for beginners, okay? So really, really, really targeted stuff, guys. And let's do one more. So now this one, wood projects for beginners, we're going to paste here. We're going to, I'm clicking control C, by the way, if you guys are wondering, some of you that are unfamiliar with like shortcuts and stuff like that, I'm clicking on control C on my windows so I can copy and then paste. Okay. So we've done that here. And then this keyword is on simple outdoor wooden bench plans, step-by-step -step woodworking plan. So here we can say step-by-step -step woodworking plans. Perfect. That, that fits, right? And again, very, very targeted. You can even be more specific if you want, and you can put this into its own ad group for bench plans, like woodworking bench plans. You can do that if you want. Uh, but, you know, just for the purpose of this example, hopefully you get the idea, right? Separate them out, long tail, and very, very exact, all right? So you can click done here, you can click done here, you can click done here, and these are going to be our ads. We're going to click save and continue, and that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and click publish. And this is going to be our campaign with all these ads. They're under review, but really, really specific guys. All right. So if you want to change the bid, you can do that here, but there are long tail exact keywords. You can also go into ad groups. Very, very specific. It's going to make it very efficient for you guys. You're going to be getting the most bang for your buck. No longer spending money on irrelevant keywords that don't matter. Especially perfect if you're on a tight budget. All right. Uh, guys, if you haven't seen my affiliate marketing guide, how to make money with affiliate marketing and how you can get started now, I do offer it for free at evonmana.com. All right. So take a look, completely free 55 page guide. I also offer courses. For example, I have a Google ads course teaching you how to master Google ads or how to master Google ads remarketing. If you take a look at my courses page at evonmana.com slash all dash courses. I also have lots of free content. I just surpassed my 400 video mark, guys. I have so many free videos on my channel. So if you guys also go to youtube.com and you search me up or just click on my face at the, you know, below this video, uh, I have so many free videos for you guys. So, 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 so much free content, literally 400 videos, insane amount of absolutely free knowledge you guys can take advantage of. So take a look, subscribe, hit like, and I will see you guys in the next video.